up, my Hawaii Fab Airway family? This year has been a hard year for us in the world. We have a virus that we can't get rid of. The pandemic is so bad. But what we're going to do, we're going to reach out to our communities and help and make a difference in the world. So you guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a shield. And you can make a shield for your family, your friends, and the community, and the people that's on the front line. It's always good to give back. And I made some shields for the other people that I know that is on the front line, and they appreciate it. So you guys, let's do it today, and let's make a shield. This is my shield that I made. You guys like it? I hope so. So you guys, I'm going to show you guys what to get. Give you a demonstration on how to make it. And you guys, like always, make it your own. And give back, you guys. Because we are in this together. Okay? So you guys, you know what to do. If you're ready, let's rock. Hey, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's rock. Let's save the world, y'all. Let's rock. Let's help each other, y'all. Let's rock. Here we go. We're going to be safe. We're going to get over this in the world. And we're going to be together as one. Peace. Family, are you guys ready to do the shield? Hey, hey, hey. Here we go, y'all. The supplies that you will need to make your shield is self-sealed laminating pouches. The 8 by 5 by 11 you can get that at Walmart or any other craft stores. The jewels, I got that at Walmart. And you can get that at Hobby Lobby, Michaels. For you guys that's in the mainland, because we don't have it in Hawaii, y'all are lucky. Y'all have a lot of stuff to choose from over there. We have the foam windowsill. I got mine at City Mill. And you can get this at Lowe's or any other household stores in your area. Ribbons, scissors, a lighter, sew culture closure, a hole puncher, any adhesive glue that you choose to use, shish kebab sticks, and a hammer. So if you guys are ready, let's rock. Hi, my Hawaii family, let's let go. go. This is what you're gonna do. You have your laminated paper, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna peel this off. Okay? And then what I did was I measured where I wanted to punch my holes at, okay? And then what I do is I will punch a hole in in it and then you're going to make sure that the hole is big enough for you to put the closures in okay there we go all right so look just like this don't worry about the little holes or whatever because you're going to close it up with the closure okay and then what you're going to do, you put the closures on the front and the back, okay? So this is the front, because you have the big ones, and then this is the back, okay? And then what I do... Is you're gonna take your ribbon, put it in through the closure, and then that's why we have a lighter because we're gonna burn that, okay? And tie it. You're gonna double knot it about three to four times. Make sure the knot is thick. Okay. 
and then one more time. It looked like it just don't want to get knotted. Look at it. it just want to get loose and loose and loose like a goose. Okay. So see, once you thread it in, you see it can't go through, you guys. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut this off. Then you're going to take your lighter. Okay. And then burn it a little bit down. Make sure you hold it up so it doesn't melt the plastic, okay? All right, a little bit hot. Then you're gonna take this in and burn the thread, okay? That way it doesn't rattle, okay? And usually I do it both at the same time, but I wanna show you guys one at a time on how to do it. So thread it through. Go ahead and tie it in a knot three to four times. And then you're gonna make sure it's big enough so it doesn't go through that hole. Okay, that's what we're gonna do, y'all. Okay, so it's big enough and we're gonna cut this and we're gonna burn bring it up so you don't lump the plastic <laughs> going this way look at that backwards all right so burn it okay then bring it down then you're gonna burn your end see how that's rattling okay Let's burn it so it doesn't rattle. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now you know it doesn't rattle. Then what I like to do is I like to do my gems. I like to decorate. So I'm going to show you a little bit of something, something that I have already done. But if you guys like it plain, like this, and you don't want nothing on it, especially the nurses, you have the foam. You're going to turn it over and then you put it here. Okay? And then it goes to your, make sure that it doesn't look to your head. So that gives a cushion to your head. Okay, you guys? So I'm going to show you some other ones that I did. And you are going to like it. So, this is one of the ones that I did, and what I did was I just did the design, okay? I did the design, and then I glued it down. So, see this little gem right here? You take your, you take your adhesive, any adhesive that you want. And I also put it on like a, a little paper and put my glue here. And then I take my shish kebab stick, take the glue. And if you already have it set, set as you like it, you're going to just take it, pick it up, put it down, and then bond it. So you just take the glue, pick it up, and put it under like a little circle and put it down and just bond it, okay? Instead of you messing everything up. So if you want, do your design that you like, and then when you got everything where you want it to be at, just pick that gem up. Okay, just pick that gem up like so. Put that glue down there, put it down, bam, it's done. Of course, this is definitely not staying there. Then, you got to take your, your uh, foam and put it right here for your head.
okay? That is for your head. And there we go. A shield, okay? But I'm going to show you my other designs, and it's without the shield. I mean, it's without the fold, not the shield. Of course, the shield is done. But these are some of the other designs that I did. Okay. That way you guys got an idea of how you want to do yours. Also the Jim Jim. And you're just going to put the phone right in the back of it. Right in the back of it, okay? This one is my alma mater colors. Yes, gold and green. Yes. Okay. And last but not least, here we go. And just remember, you're gonna put your foam in the back. So make sure that you have enough room that you can put the foam in. And it depends on what type of inches that you want with the foam. You can get like one inch, one and a half, two, however you want to use it. And some people probably want the foam just in the middle. And that's good too. Or some people just want it all the way down. The middle is fine too. Just put it in the middle if you want. Okay? And there we go, you guys. That is how you do the shield. Okay? And then all you're going to do is bring it back and tie it. And here we go. Isn't that neat? That is so neat. All right, my Hawaii fab eater family. Now that we got that shield down, you guys go ahead and make a difference in your community, especially the people that's on the front line. I, I am definitely fortunate that I have two essential jobs and I'm working around the clock. And I have my masks, we have gloves, and I've been making everybody's shields. So you guys, just stay protected. We gotta get over this. Hopefully we can get over this. And my sympathy goes out to the families that lost their loved ones and couldn't even see them. So, whew, that's horrible if you can't see your loved ones. But um, my heart goes out to you guys. So you guys, just stay safe, stay protected, and peace and aloha.